Now, an interesting uh, doco that I saw a few years ago, and I think, you know, every writer's seen it. Not that I'm a writer, but yeah. I think a lot of dudes that aren't writers but are into hip hop have seen it. Is the um the Jisso? Oh yeah, documentary. Yeah. Now I think the I don't I don't know when it came out, but I just remember when I first saw it. Might have been like five years ago. Um, yeah. And I just remember just being like, wow, like from the first that thing, that first scene where it's yeah. just him, you know, doing that run up. Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah. And then just jumping the fence and. You know, that's how the movie yeah. starts. I just remember by the end, I haven't seen it in a while, but by the end of it, I was like, wow, what a fucking documentary. Yeah, yeah. Like, I couldn't believe. It's an believe, up and down, you know what I mean? Like, it's a. Yeah, well, I just couldn't believe how blatant, you know, the footage was. Like, there's no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not too sure how much you can get away with doing that. Uh, you know what I mean? Whether you get away with doing that and getting scot free, I don't know what his deal was. I don't know him. You know what I mean? So yeah. I can't comment. But it's pretty full on. Like, you know what I mean? I'd, I'd be shocked if he got away with it scot free. Mm. Well, I don't know. Maybe he was in trouble already and he was ready in the shit for it. So, you know, if you're already charged for doing shit, well, why not release it? You know what I mean? Mm. I don't know if that was a deal. I don't know. I don't know him. Like, I remember seeing it and it was like, fuck, that's raw. Like, you know, like, <laughs> How the hell is he getting away with this? Like whether he did or not, I don't know. Oh, whether yeah. I don't know the backstory to it, but yeah, like I, if you're not in trouble and you've never been in trouble with the cops, I wouldn't suggest doing that. Like I was full on, you know what I mean? I was an interesting one, that's for sure. So yeah. what I guess what what was your take when you first saw it, and what do you think are some of the good and the maybe not so good aspects of that? Well, doctor? just purely that, like you know what I mean? Like in my eyes, you're gonna get done doing that. Like you. you cause a lot of bring a lot of heat down on yourself mm. but you know it's cool in some parts but you know like i said it, it, i don't know whether you know he, he was able to release it and it's all cool but you know what i mean like it, it was a good docket you know what i mean it is fucking smash it mm. you know what i mean like you know i'm not i personally wouldn't you know release something like that where it's full face painting everything but it might have been reasons why he could have done that or he just went for it but you know so uh, but it was a cool doco you know and then with the exceptions of i guess like the classic you know star wars yeah what are some you know other real good graffiti either docos or movies i mean coke 2 oh dude coke 2 got me that man i thought i was. I actually think that you're the dude that put me on to coke yeah, 2. yeah 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 no yeah that coke 2, i remember after seeing that we thought we were fucking because that's when i would have just started kind of writing you know yeah. showgrounds well when it wasn't getting painted and it was just I remember thinking we were Cope 2 just to throw up, throw up until fucking shitloads of cops rocked up and end up getting fucking jacked because we just just started. I didn't know shit. The dudes I was painting with, even though they are painting a bit, they were clueless. So, like, these are like, the very, very first dudes that introduced me to it. Mm. And, uh, yeah, man, that was hilarious seeing that, thinking, yeah, I can just do throw up after throw up at a fucking on the line without anything happening like Cope. But it didn't work out <laughs> too well. So, uh. And then say so any other ones that you've seen that, Oh, no, really you know, like even like Dirty Hands, I think, is it? Yeah, and the KOC, their DVDs, the Sydney dudes, they were sick. Like, you know, Route 666, uh, it's heaps, you know what I mean? Yeah, and Bad to the Bone, the Adelaide one, that, that's cool. That's right, there's part one and two of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I just personally think I really like part one. That was sick, you know, all, you know, Curse, Summon, Juice, Safe. Man, that that little era there of those, that. I'm sure there's a lot that people haven't seen as well. They were mm. killing it. Nice tech ones. Like occur, fucking these mad tech occur pieces, like big full color. Like I said, I like a big full color. If you can chuck, you know, a big full color, even a big public train sick, like a public train so awesome. But uh, for me, yeah, definitely technical stuff is, uh, and they were rocking it. They were doing mad stuff then for sure. I personally, I could be biased, but I personally think, that was the best era of train graffiti was those dudes, especially those four, you know, like Juice, Summon, Occur, and Safe. They, Yeah, they were, they were the shit, I reckon. Me personally, I think they were the yeah, they're top dogs. I don't think anyone would really top them. There's dudes that might have done just as much, but I don't rate their pieces compared to them. Like, they were really rocking it. I remember back in the day, man, seeing, I think it was a, a Juice whole car on Keswick Yards. Oh, yeah, the Who Dares... Wins. Yeah, yeah, and I heard a story about that they ran out of paint. It was him and someone else that did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, they ran out of paint. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Had to go. 
Yeah, that's the story, man. Like, you know, that's the, you know, the urban legend. Yeah, apparently that, you know, I can't say, but, you know, apparently that's what the deal was. That was pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, you yeah, know, the legends. Uh, those dudes, man, like, yeah, in my eyes, they're fucking trained killers. You know what I mean? There's all mm. the uh, uh, older generation again that were doing, all, you know, all seventh grade dudes, uh, you know, JBL, all, they're all doing shit as well. But, Personally, like, yeah, I don't know, there's something about them. That late 90s, early 2000s little era there, there that was the shit. They were killing it. Mm. It was great. And then, like, I remember um, I remember recently or relatively recently, it was, like, in the last year or two mm. where the, I think, like, the Trans Adelaide staff or whatnot, the train drivers, they went on a strike. Yeah. And they, there was a thing where, like, riders... We're just hitting shit because yeah. the train drivers as part of their strike just weren't doing shit about yeah, I, yeah, it. I was, yeah, I'm not too sure, but it was something like they weren't reporting it. I yeah. think that was part of the strike. They're not going to report graft. Yes, dudes are flogging it, man. Like, fucking good on them. Good on them. You know what I mean? I think that's great. Like, uh, yeah, go for it. You know what I mean? I'm sure, you know, I'm sure the trannies, like the transits were fucking getting around, knowing it's happening and trying to bust dudes. But yeah, I had like copped a flogging. Like, you know, definitely... More gets done now more than ever, and that's it for sure. Definitely more gets done ever. More runners, more pieces run. Um, the quality of pieces. Although, like, there's young crews like OHC, young dudes, you know, like a, like a, a Pose and dudes like that. They, they do, you know, there's been some, they've done some impressive stuff for sure. Mm. You know what I mean? But, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, it could be biased because, you know, you kind of, get to know some dudes as well and just that style like you know what i mean the shit you grew up on it's like saying you know you love 90s hip-hop you know what mm. i mean like you know it's just uh, it's what you started is is the original shit yeah. it's just it's just got something to it that you know hits the heart you know like, yeah fuck yeah right, mm. you know so then i guess on the topic of younger riders i mm. mean who were some of the you know the the younger crews i guess or riders that you sort of think are you know good up and comers or yeah oh hc definitely Kill, yeah, they're, they're they're probably my favorite younger dudes. Yeah. You know, like a Pose, Aima, those dudes. They yeah, they smash it. They're yeah. cool, cool dudes. Fucking mad pieces, get shit done. Anyone else? Oof, off the top of the head, I don't know they're the ones that stand out to me. Oh, there's there's heaps, man. Like, you know, fucking jump on Instagram, you'll see it all. But mm. yeah, yeah, like uh, they're the ones that stand out to me because they they get shit done. Personally, they're the ones I'd say. The, the, the lesson. Oh, yeah.